guys, it's Jamari, and today I will be doing a first impression on the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. Um, this is a first impression. I just picked it up. Ow. I just picked it up like two hours ago. But yeah, I'm doing a review on this, and let's get started. So I purchased this at Target. I think you could pick it up in any drugstore. This was around seven dollars, under seven dollars. So the packaging is this squeezy tube thing. You're in control of how much foundation or BB cream is taken out of this. So um, I think they only have like four or five shades. They have about, I'm not sure how many shades but I'm putting right here. This was second to the last towards the darkest side. This is not exactly my skin tone. Well, it looks like it is, but they only have two dark shades. Well, they're not really dark, but there was a medium and a deep, I believe. I got the one in the shade 530 light medium. I think they had a medium, but it was way too dark, but I'm not sure. This is supposed to be for people who have oily skin. It says here it's oil-free. It won't clog pores. Suitable for sensitive skin. Lasts all day. And it says CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream provides a perfect amount of coverage to even skin tone, hide blemishes, and keep you shine-free all day. Yeah, this is 30 ml or one fluid ounce, and I just wanted to try out a new BB cream because I've been using the Maybelline BB cream that has sal salicylic acid so I love that but this one says that it has I'm not sure it's just for oily skin and I just wanted to try it out and I thought it said something with acne but I guess not so we're gonna get started and put it on our face let's get started so this is the packaging okay I'm gonna try to sit still so then you guys could see the before and after but I'm gonna start half of my face I'm gonna be putting on primer and half of it I'm not but I'm gonna be moisturizing because it says it's matte and I am pretty oily and I need sunscreen and this doesn't say it has any sunscreen at all it just says yeah no sunscreen so I'm gonna be putting on my lotion what happened? okay so I'm gonna be putting on the primer this primer by Smashbox. This is so close. Okay, so, okay, okay, here it goes. I'm gonna be putting on the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer on this side of my face. Hopefully I'll remember. But I will put this on just this much and see how long it lasts. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna be putting on the BB cream on my face and I'm gonna start off using, oh, I'm gonna be using the same brush to be honest. Half of my, oh wait, I'm gonna put it all over my face to be honest. But first I'm gonna put it on here, put it on this side of my face. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, I can tell that it's, it's not thick, but it's not thin. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting that on my face. Okay. So off the bat, oh, I didn't smell it. Let's see how it smells like. It smells like a regular lotion, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna be blending this out. So, right off the bat that it took my shine away and it fits my skin tone, I guess. As you can tell, my face is lighter than my whole body. So, so there's a big difference, but as for coverage, it is great. It's almost the same as my favorite BB cream, the Pure BB Cream by Maybelline. And this has salicylic acid, and this one, the CoverGirl, does not have it. So, to be honest, it kind of smells like paint or sunscreen. I'm not sure, but there's no sunscreen in here, so Let's see. Let go. That's how it looks like with primer and without primer. So I can't really tell a difference. This one's just more, this one's a little more sticky. This one's a little more matte. I'm not sure. It is pretty matte. So I'm gonna set the left side of my face with the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation Powder. Um, this has salicylic acid and I'm just gonna be putting that onto the left side of my face. I wanna see how it works with a primer and with powder and yeah so it is 248 at the moment i will check back in a few hours i'm just gonna run some errands with my grandma and stuff so i'll be back okay so i'm back and um it is 
5.09, how many hours has that been? I could tell you that it's good. There's like, they, they basically are the same. Like with or without a primer, it is the same. But I pfft, could see some of my acne scars right here. More in person, but um, I should have did my brows, but um, yeah, that is the skin. It's kind of like an everyday, like lazy makeup that you could put on when you know lazy to put on makeup. So it's very light and it's not completely matte. So yeah, I'll check back in a few more hours and yeah. So um, I moved locations because I just did a little haul. So um, if you see me wear this same outfit, then you know where it came from. But yeah, um, I'm doing the last, the last checkup. It's 8:12, and I'm gonna see my final thoughts because it's the last part of the video. What is here? So um, it's a mess right now. It's 8:12. Have I said that already? My skin is glowing from within by the look of it. Pretty decent. It's, yeah, um, if you compare the two sides, this is much more, this side is much more matte than this side. So I think using a primer and powder is really good. This side is much more glossy and this side is much more, a little bit more semi-matte. As for the longevity, it's pretty good. Just oily, so you probably just, it's just minor oiliness. So I advise, ow, my leg fell asleep. I advise you to put powder and set your face. I think that's good. I just need to trim my eyebrows. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I'd give this out of a 10. I'd give it probably an 8 or 8 or 9. Just because it's a good BB cream and yeah, good coverage. So it's good for, you know, like lazy day, on the rush, on the go makeup. I love everything about it. It's pretty good. So the, the packaging is like, this has one fluid ounce and this has one fluid ounce too. As you could tell, they are basically the same. Except this one's matte and this one's more, you know, slippery. So yeah, uh, that's about it. I will talk to you guys later.